In this video, I'm going to spin this wheel with 13 chess bots on it, 8 of which are at least 1800 ELO, including Hikaru and world champion Ding Loren. The rest are bots between the ratings of 1000 and 1600, and if the chess gods bless us, we even have Martin. If I lose the game against the bot that I land on, I'm going to have to spin the Wheel of Misfortune, consisting of losing 1000 ELO on my Blitz rating, taking the one chip challenge, shaving my head, and writing Frank a love song. If you are not subscribed, do it now, or burning your house down might be on my wheel next time. Let's do this. I'm not looking forward to this at all. The hope is that we get one of the Botez sisters or Anna Crambling or someone who's just like 1800 to 2100 and then we play a really good game. If I get any of these 2500 plus bots, I'm pretty much toast. All right, let's just do it. We're going for it. Oh God, good, 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 good. Agad Matter. Agad Matter, I'll take that. I think he's the same rating as Alexandra Botez. 2100? That's manageable. That's not good. But that's manageable. Okay, he's 2,000 rated. I thought he was 2,100. This is this is manageable. Uh, I have beaten this bot before. But if you're going to play 2,000 rated bot, you cannot slip up. This is a one-time game. It is not a series. We're going to get right into it. Uh, we're going to pick random colors. And we get the black pieces. This is a bad start. The first game against Agad Matter was an excruciating battle to where we got to an end game where we were one pawn up. But unfortunately, this end game was completely drawn. That's better than a loss. That's better than a loss. Okay, okay. We escaped the jaws of defeat. Alright, rematch. I got the sunglasses on. It's time to get serious. We have the white pieces this time. I'm gonna play my secret prep. Agon Matter never stood a chance. Bishop b5. No horse for you. Okay, okay. It's just finished development, man. Agon Matter never stood a chance against... Sean Passant with sunglasses and the white pieces. Alright. No bishop guy coming here. I don't know why I do this opening, because I always end up moving my bishop back here. I should probably just be better. Okay, we're gonna go here, then here, then here, then here, then here, then here, and then we're gonna take the king and GG's. Rook. Ooh, I think I remember looking over these games that I've played with an engine, and Bishop does not belong on e6 because I can go here. And now I can play this. Oh boy, we've got an attack brewing, and now the Bishop's opened up! I knew I was a genius. Okay, our Rook might be getting trapped here a little bit. Oh god, I might not be a genius. If I go here... Okay, you can't really... If I go here, does this trap my rook? Are you serious? Oh, that's crazy. So if I go here, here... Rook can't go to either of these two because of the bishops. Rook can't go up. Oh my gosh. And I think that's the only square knight has to go to. This is not good. The sunglasses did not help. We need to sack and exchange in the best way possible. Or maybe we can just bring this knight in? That still traps the rook. Oh gosh. Oh, I have ideas that definitely don't work. But this takes, 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 queen takes, Queen takes, pawn takes. We're down a whole piece, and his king's open. Okay, that's a terrible idea. God, I've completely blundered it already. But if I go here, here, how do I even defend my rook? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is wild. This is a wild way to lose. How did we, what move is it? It's move 13 and we're completely lost. All right, we're just gonna fight back. We're gonna bring our, our rook here to allow us to double up. We're gonna fight back. It was a bad start. Oh, I'm sick to my stomach. I'm gonna have to write Frank a love song. We may as well get our other pieces into the game. Yeah. I figured. Oh my gosh, we're getting crushed. And we can't- uh, if we go here, he has his fork. So we gotta go here. This is bad. This is bad. Um, oh my gosh, and I have indigestion. Dang you frozen meals from Costco. I don't want to take this because then his queen gets into the game. Oh, but we need this bishop. Everything's going horrendously. We're gonna play this. We're just gonna go for broke. But then if I- what? That's not a move. What's the point of that? What's the point? I'm going here. But then he can take this? Oh my gosh. This game's rigged. So if I go here, that prepares this. And also, if he goes here, I have this, but then here we can take... Alright, I'm just gonna play this. I'm pretty sure I'm completely lost. Takes... What was the idea? What was my idea? It was, um, 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 um. Wait, wait! Oh, I have an idea. Okay, so this pawn's pinned because of the bishop. So if I bring my queen up, maybe I can take, and if takes, then we can take. And takes, takes, do we win anything there? Takes, I don't know. Gosh, I, I need to bring my queen up anyway. 
We are in trouble. We are in substantial trouble. That hangs a pawn. I'm certain of it. But he's threatening this. Oh, are we getting mated? Agad Matter, why? I think we lost. I think we lost. Dang it, we chose a beatable bot and we still lost. How do I defend? How do I defend this? I cannot come forward. I might need to sack, but even that's losing. Oh, if takes, here's checkmate after blocks. Okay, okay. I think the only way we don't get mated is this. But I still think we get mated. Okay, that can't be right. That cannot be right. I think he blundered. Because now I can block. Trust. Trust the process. Okay? What's your point? Okay, he's just up a bunch of material. That's his point. Is this forced mate? Oh. We are down 10 points of material. We are down 15 points of material. It's not over though. We have mate in one! We have mate in one! He's gonna lose! Oh, he saw it! How do you even play on? How do you even play on? I could resign, but it's... Oh, I didn't click that! Oh, God. The computer is screwing me. Okay, if I go here, I can't do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're down 14 points of material. Stalemate. We're going for stalemate. God, just checkmate me. Oh. Cool. Just end it. I'm taking the glasses off. The sunglasses were the reason that I lost. They were the only reason. Hmm. That first game was stupid. We had a one pawn up and we completely blew it. I think it was a drawn end game, but we could have swindled him. We didn't swindle. Let me spin the wheel. Oh my god. Anything but shave your head. I also don't like spicy things. Dude. Uh... Lose 1,000 ELO. Oh my god. Guys, I have to take my blitz rating down to like 800. Oh my god, Frank just hit 700 today. We're gonna be like the same ELO. Oh, I think this was like my second worst one on the wheel. I would have much rather wrote Frank a song. Oh my god. I'm a man of my word. And so it began. Our journey back to 817. A milestone lower than even the rating that we started at on chess.com. Back to 1500. The pain, the agony, the horror. Back to 1200s. The climb back to 1800 will be treacherous, but it will be worth it. Do I get to write off ELO donations on my taxes? If I am worth my weight in gold, I will be able to mount this comeback. 815. We lost 1002 ELO. I gave you guys two extra ELO. Are you happy? Are you happy now? I feel sick to my stomach looking at the screen right now. 815. I'm curious as to how long this is going to take to get back up to 1800, I don't know. I think just playing the games alone to get there, assuming I won every single game, would take forever. I'll be posting my progress back to 1800, guys. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.